Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and tonight I am checking out a new game. This is called Gravity Chase. This is from developer uh, Repixel8, and uh, I was offered a key to check this out from the developer. I don't currently have uh, a release date on this game. It does say January 2022 on the Steam page, and obviously that has passed. Reading on the forums, it sounds like they are putting the finishing touches on getting this out. But uh, I played a couple of rounds of it and I found it quite interesting. What drew me to it is it feels a lot like Wipeout or F-Zero. And F-Zero is one of my favorite series of all time. I really enjoy F-Zero. I'm not big into racing games, but for whatever reason, F-Zero really, really... Uh, caught my attention like the original game was pretty good and then the Nintendo 64 game where you had like 30 racers at the time where that was kind of unheard of was just and then the GameCube game it's one of the most difficult story modes of any racing games I can remember and I beat it um, so this is something in that vein it's definitely like a futuristic racing game it seems a little bare bones in that there's no settings that i found i can't change the resolution the the graphics are all defaulted and i hope that changes but it, it's a pretty game still with that said with a couple of of small ugly spots um from what i've seen there is no online multiplayer though it does support steam's play together thing so i guess you could technically do online play through that it mostly seems to be trying to fill that gap for like that um, split screen multiplayer which is supported here up to four players I'm just going to do some single player against the computer um, and by default you get a couple of, of levels unlocked here and then you have to get additional points to unlock more I have really haven't progressed too far I've only done like two races um, so I wanted to kind of give you my initial thoughts on it we're going to just jump into maybe just a basic level and then you have three different options, arcade race, classic arcade racing, points and money awarded, race to the finish line and destroy the competition without getting destroyed and elimination. Every 30 seconds, the last place racer is eliminated. Stay up front to survive. So there's some interesting options here. I'm just going to do the default arcade race. I feel like these might be a little more fun with other real players. Um, and then you get options here. Obviously, you get more points. The harder the mode you go into but again it is more difficult and one thing i noticed is you're kind of fighting against gravity a little bit like at first i was like these these vehicles seem a little unbalanced and i realized uh i think the weight and strength actually play a, a pretty big part in staying on the track and not kind of uh spinning out like i i definitely spun out a little bit when i was playing initially I like this thing, it looks like the Cylon ship from Battlestar Galactica a little bit. I like this one. And then I see like there's an upgrade menu here. Improved handling, improved acceleration. I don't, I got a little bit of points. I guess I could do, yeah. That I do that for the rate ship. Yeah, I think. I don't know, I'll have to check the video, but I think it went up. I lost the money. Okay, and then you can pick a color. That's a nice blue. One thing's like that waterfall there, a little, uh, a little janky looking. It's, Kind of just basic Unity uh, water texture. But like this, what I liked about it from the couple of matches I've played and the videos I've seen is like the sense of speed. I really feel like you're blasting through here, just like F-Zero. F-Zero fa felt like the fastest game in the world when I played it. And it, it was definitely down to like microsecond adjustments on some of those story missions to progress. Three, two, one, And like if you um, go around the the circle too quickly, you can kind of like lose your your control a little bit and like spin out. I noticed 
And I'm assuming on the harder difficulty, like, the gravity is, is a bigger factor. There's also boost, which is straight up, like, from, uh, from F-Zero. F-Zero had this mechanic where you had, like, a boost, but it was also your ship's health. And after the first round, you could boost, um... Oh, I just realized that ref right bumper uh, disables the music. And I think you can't actually boost until you're done with the first lap, I want to say, because I, it wasn't working, and now it is if I press X. I'm using a PlayStation 4 remote here. And it seems like all of the map, all the levels I've seen so far, you're either on like the inside or the outside of a sphere. Kind of an interesting uh, mechanic. So you basically, uh, you get boost from these little floating things, a la like uh, Mar uh, Mario Kart. Um, the blue squares will give you like a little immediate boost, and then the red ones will uh, slow you down. And I'm in fourth place. I think I use my boost more strategically. Like that's where if you start like going around the circle and just like you can pretty easily lose, lose your bearings and lose control I found. Yeah. Oh, I got second. Oh, that was my the lap I was on. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Two seconds behind Cole. And it seems like this has been in development for a while. I, I read on um, the Steam forums that COVID, I think, had played an impact in the delay of this game. Like, I think it's been in development for a while. And it seems like they've got it back on track, and it's pretty close to release. Like, this almost seems like a, a ready-to-go product. So I would love, you know, to see some some online multiplayer. Okay, so I unlocked. I guess you don't have to spend the points. I think once you get that many cumulative points, maybe it unlocks, because I didn't spend anything here. I just, I got it. Maybe let's jump ahead and we'll do we'll do this one. Let's try Eliminator. I kind of want to see how that works. Okay. Let's do improve top speed. So let's watch that max speed at the top. Yeah, it did go up a tick there. Okay. So you're upgrading your ship as you're progressing. Yeah, music off. I think you can cycle through the music. Steer, shield, boost, pause. Yeah. I'm not going to play a lot, I just wanted to check this out. Might be the last race, actually. I feel like this would be a ton of fun with other players, and unfortunately... Uh, I don't have people that play these kind of games over too much. Like, my wife is a little bit of a gamer, but she's more like Animal Crossing or The Sims, and my daughter is four and would immediately fly off the track. So, like... I might, you know, unless I can get some friends over... All right, so this is the elimination one, which I don't want to be in last place. Oh, it says I'm going to get wiped out in 15 seconds. Yeah, you, you it doesn't seem like you can use the boost. I think it's probably like F0 where you can't use it until, until your first lap is over. Find out. The hat, Carlos. Yeah, there it is. Now I can boost. I'm in first. And I'm running this on an ultra-wide monitor. It doesn't feel like it's stretched out, so I'm assuming that the resolution um, is automatically like set correctly, though like the textures on the track here look a little bit... Um, like, like the aliasing on it could be better. It's fun. I don't know a price on it yet. Like, I feel like this is a product that 
you know, I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for this, but if this was 15 or $20 and I knew I had some buddies that, that would play with me, I would definitely pick this up. I also have an arcade cabinet, and I wonder if this might translate decently to uh, if, I, if I hooked up my wheel to the arcade cabinet. I don't know. There's also a, a, a combo mechanic I noticed. Every one of these blue things you hit, if you hit them like within a certain amount of time, you get a boost combo. I also noticed I didn't get any of the like boost energy on this one. Maybe not all the maps have it. Ah, oh, I missed it. So there's like some mechanics here, some interesting thoughts. I hope they price it, you know, accordingly. And I know it's asking a lot to get multiplayer with, you know, small indie uh, devs at times, but I feel like a lot of these games are dead in the water without some form of multiplayer. Like, and I know that you, you've got the play with friends kind of thing, but you know, you've got to convince a friend to buy it, and that's always you know, a difficult prospect for some people. Having like an online matchmaking system it's just, I feel like it's almost necessary these days. You don't even need like a ranking system necessarily, but just a way to connect with people. So this one, it doesn't end at like a set number of matches, or a laps it seems like. It, it's actually like every round, you know, the last person gets eliminated. And then I'm assuming when everyone's eliminated, Except for one person, the round is probably over. Yeah, it seems likely. I'm kind of curious how the the one where you have to destroy your teammates works. Because I haven't seen any real, like, I don't have any weapons or anything. Alright, so there's me and one other person. So this should be almost over. It almost feels like a little bit too long, like uh, especially since I've had like not much competition this level. I got it. We got it. Other elimination imminent. What does that mean? Shouldn't I just win when I'm the last person? Why doesn't it end right there? That's. I feel like an odd mechanic. How do I not get eliminated? You know what it should be? There should be like, when everyone else dies, you have to get across the finish line within a set amount of time. That'd be a cool mechanic. So I got 4,000 points for that. I also noticed some of the UI elements are like stretched off the screen, which is a little weird. It's probably because I'm running this ultra wide, but again, they should have some settings in there for, for adjusting that. So that should give me a new track. It's kind of scratching that F0 itch in a way. I'm going to load up this one. I'm going to try that combat race and then I'm going to be done. I just want to see if they give you like weapons or something. Oh, I maxed that out apparently. I think I made this blue because it's like the blue falcon from F-Zero actually. Oh, did that say weapon fire? I pressed the button too quickly. I think you probably could use more racers. Like F-Zero, one of the really cool things about it was having, you know, 
30 racers on the same track at once. Even the Nintendo 64 version somehow pulled that off. I don't know how. And it looks like this one is uh, lap-based. Alright, so I got shield. Ammo. How do I fire? Maybe it's like, uh... Like the other... Uh... And you can't use them until the first lap's over, is my assumption here. I'm enjoying it. It's pretty cool. I'm in eighth place after just like picking everyone's. Okay, so I got like a little. I feel like. That's not very satisfying. And I'm out of ammo already. Or maybe I have to lock on, I'm not sure. I definitely feel like that little pea shooter, like not satisfying whatsoever. Like it doesn't even have like a good sound, a good, good uh, punch to it. And having, I don't know, maybe there are more weapon types, but it looks like it's just like this little, like, machine gun kind of thing. Having, like, um, you know, like, red shells, blue shells, all that kind of stuff. Oh! Okay, so don't touch the edges while you're, um, accelerating, apparently. Like that. That feels so wimpy. I'm sorry. If there's anything I could recommend, it would be like, get some better weapons. Like a missile, a lock-on. I don't know what those purple things are either. I never explained that. Shield. And it kind of just like auto-aims. I don't know. It, I feel like this mode out of the three I've played feels like it's missing something like the race was fun the elimination mode though it went a little too long like I feel like this could use something mostly just more weapons more variety more options overall I'm, I'm like the tracks have a lot of variety to them like tubes and interior of them and, and like this is like a half pipe I wonder if there's levels where you can go um, over the edge maybe that would be kind of cool like Rainbow Road style yeah I'm intrigued by it I want to see what the finished product looks like um, I'm not 100% certain if this is coming out as early access it doesn't say and obviously I don't have a release date or a price yet but like if this was 10 to 20 dollars and i had another buddy that was willing to play with me i would totally check this out um if i don't i don't know if i would play this by myself all the way through like it's, it's interesting but uh yeah so if you're looking for an f-zero wipeout style game and uh you know there's not been a lot of those i want to say for quite a while this uh, might be something to check out and uh, if you do enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe. Check out some of my other content. And if you like it, uh, please do uh, give me a subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you again for watching and have a good night, everybody.